Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to do something very exciting and creative. I'm going to show you how to create these subtle hover effects. So here's our first one here. When I hover over it, you can see it's a color that shifts when I hover. The next one here is a bit more extreme. Look at that. Now this is a total change. You can see the color here is a bit more bright. So these are things that you can do on your existing website. Now further down here, I have a few more examples. Uh, this one here, when you hover over it, it shows a box shadow. And then the middle one sort of like zooms out. Look at that. So this one here zooms out, but this one here is quite normal. So I'm going to show you how to do all these subtle designs on your existing website. But before we get started, I want to talk about my bonuses that you get when you buy Divi using my affiliate link, which is in the video description below. The first bonus you get is my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. Secondly, you're also going to get the WordPress mastery course. This is just an um, introduction to WordPress. It gets you up and running really fast. And then finally, I have Photoshop for web designers. Again, this course will help you design graphics for your website. All right, guys, let's dive in. Let me show you how to design all these effects right now. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do here is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here and click on add new. Uh, let's give this page a name. Let's just call this uh, hover. Use Diffy Builder. So for this design, we're going to build everything from scratch. So I'm going to click on build from scratch and let's start with three columns. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to have blurbs. So I'm going to search for my blurb like that. And I'm going to now come over here to image and icon and let's add an icon. So for this design, I just want to use icons instead of just using an image on there. So this, this is going to be my first icon. Now let's go ahead and um, design this blurb. So I'm going to come over here to the design tab. So let's start here with my icon. So I'm going to click on this uh, little pencil icon or paintbrush icon. I'm going to give this a color and uh, let's also reduce the size. So to do that, you want to come over here to use icon font size and let's reduce the size to about, uh, let's go with 56. Now all this text here needs to be centered. So I'm going to come over here to the first one, center it. I'm gonna also going to change uh, my font here. So let's go with Poppins. I'm going to select that. I'm going to make it bold. So it really stands out. Uh, make it slightly bigger like that. And then finally, we're going to change the color. So let's go with, let's go with that. I know it's a subtle difference, but uh, I mean, it works. So over here now, we're on the paragraph text. Again, we're going to do the same thing. Let's change our font. Make it Poppins. I'm going to select that. We're going to center it. And let's increase the size a little bit to maybe 15. Right, so that's looking great. So we're just going to reduce the amount of content here. There's a lot of text in here. So let's go back in and let's just reduce this like that. So I'm just going to delete more. There we go. So I'm just going to have a little bit. So what we're going to do next now is to uh, give this some breathing space. Okay. So first of all, let's add a background color so you can see what I mean. So here's our background color. You can see everything is way too close to the edge. Now, that's not what we want. So while this color is here, in fact, let's use... Okay, while we have this color, let's head over here to design. And we're going to come over here now to spacing. So for our padding, let's go 20 to the top, 20 to the bottom. And then we also want to do side by side. So again, we're going to add 20 all sides. All right, next, we're going to uh, give this some rounded corners. So I'm going to come over here to border. Uh, let's set this to six. Great. So those are rounded corners. Now we're going to go back to our background color here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start off with a color, which is very light, very subtle. So let's go with... In fact, you know what? I think there's a background color here on our section. Let's get rid of it. So I'm going to save this for now. And then I'm going to go to my section here, click on background, and just make sure that there is no color in here. So in, or in fact, let's just set this to white. Or let's just go transparent. Okay. So now we don't have any color here in the background, which is brilliant. So what we need to do now is to set a color which shows up on hover. Okay. So I'm going to come over here. And uh, we are going to go to our background and let's choose our color here. I'm going to go all the way to the top. 
In fact, let's go F2, F2, F2. Okay, that's a little bit better. It's very subtle. Now, what I need to do is I want that when I hover over it, the color is also going to change. So that is uh, the technique we're going to use now for this first example. So let's go ahead and do that. So over here now, there's this little icon. If you hover over here where it says background, there's this arrow pointing up. This is what we need. I'm going to click on that and then click on hover. Okay. So this is where I can go in and change my color. So I'm going to choose maybe this color here, but it's a bit too much. So maybe just about that. Let's just have a look now. There we go. So it's very subtle. But if you want to do, you could actually make this uh, like totally crazy and reverse all the colors. But we're just going to make it very subtle here. So let's just add a bit more like that. Okay, great. So now I'm going to save this. And I want you to notice what happens when I um, exit the Visual Builder here. Okay, so notice that when I hover over it, the color is changing. Pretty cool. Now, let me show you a different style where we're going to start off with nothing on there and then it's going to have some shadows. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go back into my Visual Builder. So I'm just going to duplicate this. So I'm going to go back in here and over here down to the background, we're going to remove the color completely. So I'm going to delete the color. And then over here on the design, I'm going to go all the way down to my box shadow. I'm going to choose my uh, box shadow. So that's the style I'm going to go with. I'm just going to make some adjustments here. And so I'm going to adjust my blur strength here. So you notice now when I take a look at my blur strength, we also have this uh, little icon here, which is our hover. So I'm going to click here and make sure that my blur strength is active. But when I come over here to this one, my blur strength is gone. Okay, great. So now we have this line here on the bottom. So this is our vertical, I think. Yep, it's our vertical. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to get rid of the vertical altogether. So I'm going to say zero. And over here on the hover, I'm going to set this to zero as well. Great. So what is happening here now is we still have our color here that we had when we created our background. So we need to go and get rid of it by coming over here to content, background, and I'm going to come over here to the hover and get rid of that. Okay. So you notice now on the hover, I have my box shadow and then here it is not there. Great. So now let's save this. So for this style, this could be quite interesting because I can have three of these. I'm just duplicating it and then dragging it over to the side. So for this middle one here, let's say this is the one that we want people to focus on. Uh, you can also add a zoom effect. So on hover, so I'm going to come over here and let's head over here to design and let's choose zoom. So I'm going to come over here to transform and this is our transform right here. So at normal, it's going to be 100%. And then if I click over here, click on the hover tab, I'm going to set it to about 110. There we go. So you can see that it has expanded or it has zoomed in, which is brilliant. So I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to save this one more time. Now, when I exit the Visual Builder, notice what happens. I'm going to come to the bottom here. When I hover over it, it's highlighting. And this one here is zooming in. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So the other ones are not zooming in, but this one here is actually zooming in. Pretty cool trick. Okay, fantastic. So now I'm also going to show you another way to reverse all these colors. It's going to take a bit of time, but bear with me and I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to go in and enable this. Now for this to really work, you need to have colors that work well together. So let's go ahead and duplicate this. So I'm going to do that and drag it over here. So now I'm going to go in. So first of all, on hover, I'm going to add my color. So I'm going to go to background, click on the hover tab, and I'm going to add a really dark color. There we go. On something really striking. Okay. So I'm going to go with that. So that's my hover state. Next, I'm going to now go into each and every item here and uh, design it further. So I'm going to start here with my icons. I'm going to click on that. I have my hover here. So I'm going to click on the hover, click on the hover tab. So I can make my icon lighter to make it easier to read. So let me go with that. I think that looks great. Next, I'm going to click on the title here. 
So what I'm looking for here is the color. So I'm going to come over here to my text color, click on the hover option, and then I'm going to choose my color. There we go. So now you can see it's quite easier to read. I can even go like that to really make it a bit more, but you know what? I think that's fine. And then finally, I'm going to click on this paintbrush tool, and this is going to take us to our body text. So again, it's the color that I am interested in. I'm going to click here on this little hover icon, come over here, change the color. Now we have a fully functioning um, hover state. Fantastic. Now let's see if that's going to work. I'm going to save that, save it one more time. And then I'm going to exit the Visual Builder. Come over here. There we go. Look at that. So when I hover over it, you can see the color is changing and it's very, very easy to read. So these are the little subtle designs that you can do on your existing website to give this a touch of uh, creativity as you are designing your site. Okay, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.